Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Lori from Art Lore. How are we today? So today, um, doing some fun colors again. Been kind of on some colors that have been whirling around in my empty head. Um, there's only a few things in my head and the most that's in my head are colors. So um, I'm letting the floodgates open and I'm going to just uh, go for it because I second guess myself, triple guess myself. And then when I do it, I'm thinking, okay, you ding dong, you should have done this like a long time ago. So anywho, we're gonna do a relatively small canvas today, 16 by 20. It will still give a really pretty show, um, but um, not nearly as big as what I normally um, do. Um, but I'm going to work up to um, a larger one. So 16 by 20, uh, pillow down. Uh, I'll be using the PPG Multi Pro interior eggshell. Uh, pouring medium is the Bear 8300 and the Minwax Polycrylic. And I get the uh, clear semi-gloss. And I do two of the Bear, make sure it's untinted, two of the Bear to one of the Minwax. And um, I usually do um, like half a cup of the Minwax in with the two first and get that nice and stirred in there. And then I throw the other half a cup in there so that you're not just pouring that whole entire cup in two cups and then it takes extra time to really get that mixed in together. Because I've noticed um, sometimes I don't mix it enough and then um, it's just not as fluid. So um, just that's what I do. I'm sure you guys probably have your own way of doing it, but I thought I would just share that. So let's get down to the canvas. We're gonna make a mess. We're doing one bloom today. We're gonna to spin it out, blow it out big, and then spin it. May tilt, I don't know. We'll see what the canvas tells us. Okay, tra-la-la-la-la. -la -la -la. Forgot to put my hair in a ponytail. All right, so got that all anchored down. Um, actually, I didn't have my pillow down. I thought I already did. So let's do it. We're doing it right now. So we're going to turn it this way. I just, that's just me. Um, I gave it just a gentle stir to help reduce bubbles. And we're going right here in the center. And just giving that a nice square pillow. And I don't have enough yet, but we're going to do that. A little bit more in the center there. There we go. That should do it. And I may have to add some more. I don't know. We'll see. Just going to give this a tiny little spin. And that brings it out just a little bit more. All right, new towel. I'm trying not to wipe so much on my clothing. I have a book. Oh, what did I just do? Oh my gosh, I just wiped my hands on my clothing. Holy cow. Um, let me just make sure that you're in frame somewhat and focus. Yep, you are. Okay. All right, so first up we have uh, Artist Loft Aqua Green. And it's just straight out of the tube. I didn't do anything uh, to it because that I definitely based everything around this color and I just absolutely love it. So we are going to go, um, we're going to go dead center right there. And I'm going to put a fair amount in because I want a lot of that in there. Now this one here, you know, I still have not found a true brown. So what I did was I did uh, burnt umber because every time I mix it in with my pouring medium, well, that needs to be thin. Every time I mix it with my pouring medium, it tends to fade it. Like when I use the Van Dyke Brown, um, it tends to fade it up a little bit. So I did, um, and Van Dyke Brown to me pulls gray and I want brown. So this, what I did was burnt umber. And I added a pretty sizable amount of black. This is my thinning, uh, which is the Minwax and some water. And I did three to one Minwax, three, water, one. 
and I feel like that is a really, really pretty brown. Now, I'm not going to put a whole lot of it because I feel that um, it may take over, and I don't want it to do that. So we're just going to look how pretty that looks. Yeah, I love it. All right, we're just going to drizzle. I feel like I'm going to scribble. I'm scribbling some brown paint on there. This one here, look at my cute little container. This one here is uh, white. It's just um, our Lucas. It's just Lucas white. But then what I did was I took some already made uh, TLP Harvest Gold and I added that in there so that the white is just a little bit different than my pillow because I know I'm going to hit the pillow. I generally do even though I try not to. Boy, these are really thick. And there's not a whole lot of room in this container. So I gotta be super careful on how I stir this. I know I might get bubbles here, but that's okay. I'm gonna stir it off my canvas. And um, I like to add just a scant of the gold in there and it just gives the white um, a little bit of iridescentness. Uh, the pearl fine is pretty to do that, the golden, um, but I didn't feel like doing that today. I like the harvest gold because I feel like the harvest gold, the gold, actually shows up better in the white. So let's do that. We're going to add um, a bunch of drizzles, scribbles, and then I'm going to put a little tiny bit in the center. So I don't, you know, I, I don't mind seeing that. I know I'm going to have a little bit of white. This one here, I have no idea. Um, I started out with a color, and it looked to me like I had mixed Harvest Gold with something, but it was too light. So what I did was I added Burnt Sienna. And it's got a lot of uh, shimmer to it because of the um, Harvest Gold that was already in there. So um, we're going to add that. And I thought this would pair up really pretty with um, the brown and the Harvest Gold. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. I don't mind it a little bit, even though it's a little thick. And then, of course, my Harvest Gold, which, and this is the TLP. And then we are going to drizzle some of the aqua green. Boop. We're gonna bloop too. Okay, Cell Activator is the oxide, uh, black, oxide Black by Amsterdam and the Australian Floetrol, three to one. It was a little thick today, so I added, um, I added just a little bit of Floetrol. Hopefully we'll get cells. Um, I know that this has been sitting a little bit and it's almost ready for me to use it up and start fresh. Okay, we are going to go high fan, cool air.
Okay, this is magnificent. This is exactly what I wanted. I mean, I really kicked butt today with this uh, blowout. I am really geeked. So um, I'm going to just give it a couple minutes more to set up on its own. And then we're going to spin. Loving the um, aqua green in there. Um, it pulled out great. I would like to have seen just a little bit more of the aqua green, but pairing it with the uh, gold and this uh, mystery color, um, oh my gosh. And I can see my white um, because it looks uh, very different than my pillow. And I can see little, little tiny flecks of um, the gold in there. So let's just let that set for just two minutes and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I thought it would be kind of fun for you to just check out all those really cool, flipping, awesome cells. There is so much going on with this blowout. Oh my goodness, I am madly in love with this section here and even that section there, but I just love how that just kind of carried on. Oh my gosh, that center is just phenomenal. Um, I hope I spin it okay to keep those intact, but oh my goodness me, they are really pretty. The whole thing is really pretty, just sitting here just like this. So, okay, let's go for it. Um, hold on one second though. I wanna see if I can get you close enough where you can see the gold glittering in that white petal right there. I think you can see some of the shimmer. Yep, it's really, really pretty. Okay, we're going to spin. Okay, that was a close call. I put you back in the tripod and came around the front of my table here and was getting ready to spin and I did not hit record. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we go. We're going to just do a nice spin and try and pull some of that paint out on all the edges. And um, I kind of ran my uh, palette knife with some paint um, to the corners and the edges just to get it to flow a little bit better. So, oh yeah, I'm seeing some aqua. Love it. It's really, really pretty. Oh yeah, this is really pretty. Okay, so let's go this way. Again, we're going to go slow. And um, as soon as we get down to the point where there's not a whole lot of paint left, then I can spin it a little bit more um, harder because um, if you spin early really fast, you've got a lot of paint on there and that paint's gonna come off really quick. So it's going to distort stuff and I don't want anything to be distorted. So yeah, we're looking good. Um, hold on, I just wanna make sure I don't drip on this. I will just kick myself if I do. Okay, so what I wanna do, it's on my little tiny cake spinner on top of a board. So there is not a whole lot of room. So I am pulling it forward. I don't have a whole lot of room for my canvas to move on this board. They're almost exactly the same size. So let's go in that direction and see what happens. So much for the nail lacquer. Okay, um, it's not coming this way as much as I wanted to, but let's try it this way. I'm hoping that it does not fly off. All right, we're almost there, not quite, but we're getting there. Oh my God, isn't that beautiful? Gotta dry my hands, be a good girl. All right, so now, um, boy, I just wish I had it on a different board so that it would be anchored down. Um, 
I should have blown the petals out further and right where they separated, I should have blown that out more so that I would get more coverage. I'm going to try and tip it and see what happens and see if I can just very slowly get some of that paint off in that direction and without disrupting um, the center and everything else. It is um, coming off a scant, but um, for the most part, I think I'm going to, let me see how much room I have here. No, it's right on the edge. Oh my goodness. I don't want this flying off. I will scream. I will scream. Okay, I'm locking this down, pulling on my pegs here, my little foot pegs, locking this down and hopefully it'll stay. All right. I'm not gonna pull on that one. I have a peg, oh, here we go. I have one in my board. Okay, we're gonna give that a whirl and see what happens. Because there's still a little bit of paint left on there, so we might be able to get some of that to come off. <clears throat> and if I have to leave that one corner and with some negative space, I'm doing it because this is phenomenal and I don't wanna ruin it. And um, I'm gonna measure and then see how, what the depth is, and if the depth is good, I might spin it one more time, and then we are history. And that is phenomenal. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I am madly in love with these colors. I have to do another one. So this will be part one. So maybe the next one will be bigger. Now, here is the negative space. So, with that being said, um, it is coming off a little. I'd like to get that little bloop right there off. But let me just for fun, I want to see what this has got going on in the center. I don't like that skewer. I like this one better. Oh, well, the paint is perfect. But should I gamble? and spin one more time? I think I should, um, just for fun. And we're just going to do it one more time. Okay, here we go. Now there's a lot of paint shooting off and that could just be from the board that's underneath the cakes or on top of the cake spinner. Um, but I did get rid of that little bloop, so. That last spinner Rooney really worked. Okay, we're gonna slow this puppy down and look at that. You know, I don't mind this negative space now because there is a very, 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 very faint bloop of white with some gold in there. And um, it created a whole nother color. It's almost like a light taupe. And so it's sitting there and it's filling in that negative space. So I call this a winner, winner, chicken dinner. We are done. Holy guacamole. I'm like geeked. This is gorgeous. All right. Let me take you down. Okay. Doing this with one hand here because... My spinner keeps moving. Isn't that gorgeous? The colors are just phenomenal. I'm so geeked right now. And that aqua green with everything else going on, the cells stayed intact. The fluidity is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's like one of my favorite parts. And look how that stretched out. Oh yes, very beautiful. I'm so happy. 
and I'm happy that I got to share it with all of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that bell. And I hope you're all having a great day today. I know I am. The pouring gods were with me today. Thanks, everyone, so much. And until next time, bye.